Hi, this is Shu from Snowboard Dojo Wiz, an expert on coaching intermediate snowboarders. How to spin a frontside 180. Step three, sliding downhill. If you've become confident enough to spin 180 while traversing the hill, then it's time to do it while sliding downhill. Here, we can review the key points that we learned in step two. One, hips are aligned over the heel edge to pop and spin nicely. Two, visualize yourself spinning straight ahead instead of spinning inside turn arc. Three, pull your front arm behind to help rotate hips. Four, rotate and pull your hind arm up to prevent leaning. Five, suck up your knees after popping to get more rotation. 6. Keep your chest facing forward. 7. Keep focusing on your centered balance while spinning. 8. Have an actual riding image while practicing. This time on the downhill, turning will help to make an edge angle as a platform before generating a spin. Traversing allows you to stand straight and have a proper edge angle at the same time but you lean inside to make an edge angle while turning on the downhill. So, the spin axis will be leaning and the balancing on the edge will be challenging as well. Then, less edge angle is required to help your body stand straight over the edge. Of course, it's not easy to learn, even if you are an intermediate freestyle snowboarder. So follow the proper steps as this tutorial shows in this video and let's get ready for spinning on the park jump. A front side spin is generated on the heel edge so it can be described as taking off while turning into the heel side. While approaching the downhill, we will make a few turns before taking off. So we can keep a solid base by holding the edge in the snow but it also means that we will create a few instances where our balance will be unstable from our body leaning side to side a few times. We want to keep a solid balance while approaching the jump, so the less turns, the better. The turns for preparing for spins in the approach phase are called setup turns. I teach my students to make two setup turns before taking off to reduce the chances of them losing balance. But you can start from three setup turns to make rhythm. The front side spin is generated on the heel edge. So if you want three setup turns, the approach will be like this. Go down straight and turn heel, toe, heel and take off. If you want just two setup turns, go down straight toe, heel, and take off. As I mentioned, you should learn setup turns properly because it helps with making rhythm and having a solid base. And having a good rhythm allows you to have better body coordination as well as your total performance will be increased. The more setup turns are added, the more you will lose speed. Because edging increases pressure on the snow, more edging angle will cause you to lose speed. Also, deep turns increase edge angle, so your body will be leaning side to side and losing balance as well as speed. Due to these reasons, we want to narrow the shape of the turn and reduce the number of turns. Advanced riders aim to take off when the snowboard is pointing straight in the direction they're going. But taking off with the snowboard pointing straight is hard, especially for intermediate snowboarders because of the lack of base they can get. So they can start by taking off at the end of the turn. The end of the turn is where we can feel the most pressure from the turn. And it's where you can stand straight up with an edge angle just like with going across the hill. So you can take off easier. Try taking off earlier in the turn arc and aiming to take off at where the snowboard is pointing downhill. The key point is feeling that your hips are aligned over the heel edge. But also, check if knees are aligned over the toe edge. Also, if you spin while visualizing yourself spinning as if you're rolling your body up inside of a turn while riding the edge, 
your spin axis will collapse. You should rotate while visualizing yourself spinning in the direction towards the landing point. Now, let's try adjusting your timing to the lines on the snow. When you try to adjust your timing to something, you must know where setup turns can start from. Advanced riders can adjust it with their experience. They can calculate it with speed and distance in their mind. However, you can adjust your timing to lines with this method. 1. Start by drawing two or three turns in your head before you go. 2. And then you just make the turns as you're tracing them. It will be very important skill later with the park features. There are also many people who can't generate spin because their board is completely flat and pointing straight forward during takeoff. This is because they finish the last setup turn too early before takeoff and they focus more on taking off with the board pointing straight towards the landing. So they can't keep edging and their board ends up being flat during takeoff. In other words, you have to wait for the right time to start the last setup turn. Then you can take off with your board straight and keep its edge angle. Also, taking off is affected by how good or bad the approach phase has been done, without also forgetting about your balance in the approach. With this, riders are able to prepare for the beginning of the spin on the park jump. Okay, let's review the key points that we learned in step 3. 1. Two or three setup turns. 2. Hips are aligned over the hill edge to pop and spin nicely. 3. Knees are aligned over the toe edge. 4. Visualize yourself spinning straight ahead instead of spinning inside turn arc. 5. Pull your front arm behind to help rotate hips. 6. Rotate and pull your hind arm up to prevent leaning. 7. Suck up your knees after popping to get more rotation. 8. Keep your chest facing forward. 9. Keep focusing on your centered balance while spinning. 10. Have an actual riding image while practicing. Next, let's try to attempt what we've learned until now with the jump. First, before the park jump is a challenge with a natural hit. Want to learn more with us and want more challenges? Join our membership program and watch all video tutorials that are only available on our website. You will get more of the world's best theories to solve your problem and boost your snowboarding skills. We provide flexible and tailor-able support program just for you. Get the world's best coaching methods based on the coaching of national level athletes. Boost your snowboard intelligence with us. Snowboard Dojo Wiz an expert coaching intermediate snowboarders.